And welcome back to Let's See ESO Army Dominion episode 26. I'm really hey, on. Funny looking. Oh, wait, you. Zira needs you in the den. Said she has something for you. Did she say what? Something about the bastard who forced Silver yeah, Kosh. from his own warehouse. Kosh, I think. Some fancy pantaloned merchant lord who might be after the guild's old racket. Like Zira. Zira's in the dead. Don't keep her waiting. What do we know about Kosh? We haven't heard the name before Zira said it. Some new merchant lord trying to make a name, but don't they all? Used to be the Thieves Guild knew every move the merchant lords made. Sad times. Hmm? Sad times. These guild used to watch merchant lords? Were we the fourth? Fifth? What, whatever. Our old guild master was a master at keeping their attentions on each other. Made it easier to slip our heads into their pockets. Oh, Nicholas. The next five drinks are to your memory. They're the merchant lords. A bunch of jumped up bandits, if you ask me. Claim to run the whole city because they buy from anyone. Is it throwing gold at pirates made them lordly? Without a steady flow of plundered goods, they'd be nothing. Goodbye. Bye, locally, walkers. So yeah, we j I guess we just uh, broke through this place. You think someone would actually, considering apparently from what I'm gathering, all clean water comes through this place? You think someone would inspect this? Hi. There you are. Remember Velsa's friend, Silverclaw? He is quite grateful you recovered his ledger. Seems he kept his ears open for word of that merchant lord, Kosh. What does a uh, thieves guild care about Kosh? If Kosh took over Silverclaw's warehouse, he's grabbing the rackets we used to control. And if he's after our old business, there's a good chance he's hungry for even more. Skooma trade, slavery, things we never touched. What do you want me to do? Before we give Kosh a swift kick to the coin purse, I want you to find out just how dirty his hands are. I sent the others ahead to do some groundwork. Start with Walk Softly. Look for him near the harbor. I look for Walk Softly. I sent Quen to her own task, and Velsa too. Didn't even second guess me. She must be up to something. Thieves Guild never dealt with skooma slaves? When Nicholas was Guildmaster, I convinced him to stop dealing with skooma peddlers. No matter my own thoughts on that poison, it's bad for business. And the Thieves Guild never dealt in slaves. One of the few things Velsa and I agree on. What do we know about Kosh? Not enough. Some of the merchant lords prefer to bide their time in obscurity. Using trusted servants to handle their affairs. Then they reveal themselves. <laughs> the beetle in the pudding. Whatever Kosh intends, he's no longer keeping to the shadows. Goodbye. And I have a really good feeling. You care to earn a little extra coin on the side? It's for a good cause. Uh -huh. That Nicholas is the person behind this. I don't know why I think that, but, um, well, just because it'd be a, it'd be a, I don't know, a standard twist, maybe? So, just because I keep on doing Thieves Guild and I keep on not killing stuff, I might not even hit number 10, level 10 by the end of this. Dwimmer Spider. A coin to mention you in my prayers? Hmm. 
I always forget to just do that. At least I'm starting to get a feel for the place. It'd be nice if the guards beat the shit out of you and then they took your money. But didn't kill you. Like, give you one last chance. That papaya? Right on time. What did our esteemed guildmaster tell you? I uh, said she sent you out to do some groundwork. Good, because I found something. The captain of the Dream Snake was always interested in making fast coin. She's sloppy, even for a pirate, which makes her a perfect target for Kosh. She and I have unpleasant history. Best I keep away from her. Hey, what do you need me to do? She's meeting a contact nearby. She's prone to boast. Why not find a quiet place to hear what she has to say? But the captain is a creature of habit. She used to keep documents secured in the Dream Snake. Try there, if you don't care to eavesdrop. I'll see what I can find out. Find what you can. After that, meet Quen near the harbor. She has her own task and will no doubt need your assistance. <laughs> Your unpleasant history with the captain of the Dream Snake? I once told the captain I was a wealthy Argonian prince seeking a fast ship to transport my riches. She let me inspect the smuggling compartments. And then I robbed her blind. She just has one eye patch, so. Half blind. I left her the eye patch. Hmm. Well, what are you holding? Harpy egg. They're sickening. I'd never actually eat one, but they're garish enough to draw attention from me. People see the Argonian with disgusting harpy eggs, not the Argonian with amazing fashion sense. Bye. Neither eavesdrop or steal into her place. I'm much more for the stealing thing. I'm sure no one will mind. Hmm. Should I regret this or not? They're going to attack me no matter what I do, so... I'm with a Khajiit trying to... I wish I could kosh her, you know, with, uh... What do they call them? I don't even know. Seriously, that doesn't work, but it worked. Somehow. Uh, Apex Legends actually doing well. That's unexpected. I'm sure, AA is not happy about that. I don't know. I kind of do believe the whole idea that, yes, they are um, trying to break Respawn Entertainment. Or something. Oh, great. That bloody worked. The thing Thieves Guild was smashed by mercy from Tanith. Did the Merchant Lords finally push back? You know, we to work with their Anvil connection. You can deliver to contacts in Ava's Landing the next time we ship in bulk. New Commodore means we need money fast. Only way to pay the tribute. Load our compartments to the guilds the next time we're in Anvil. Betrayed. Who is this caution now? 
Canary, we're smuggling Suma. If I don't meet him in a no sure citadel, he'll have the iron wheel raid my ship. Uh, if I take us to deep water, the governor will think we abandon the tribute. Refuse yeah! to take the shipment off your hands. I didn't fix it. And to think that was almost so perfect. But it's like, do they not expect me? They really seem to not expect me to read that. What? The fuck did that happen? You just like... Mm. Oh, again. Well, there's like no reason, though. Fine, I'll pay off my damn bounty this time. Mm, don't mind me. Because the stuff that I got, I don't even think it's worth it. Maybe I shouldn't have murdered him. Want to make some easy gold? Sorry, I, I don't do that. Hmm. There's probably just a guard right up in a corner. Yep, that I'll never be able to see. My bear's apparently a quest thing. How am I gonna do this? Because there's guards everywhere up here. Maybe not. Thank goodness you're here, Quen. It's almost as they expect me to get caught or whatever. Zira said I should wait for you when I was finished. Well, I'm finished. You find the flooded district near where Velsa called home. The people who lived there had nowhere to go after the floods. One of the dockyard bosses offered them work, food, and a place to stay. That sound like a problem. That's what I told Zira. You know what she said? If Zolguk had an altruistic bone in his body, he'd cut it out and sell it. I'd already know what he was really up to if Zira trusted me, but she wanted me to scout and you to do the fun part. Exactly, did Zira want me to do? Zolguk arranged a meeting with an Imperial client at a nearby inn. Might be worth a listen. Oh, the inn rents a room to Ventilius Proximus. <laughs> the most Imperial name I've ever heard. Probably the client. The room's lock seemed inadequate. Uh, I'll look into it, what then? Find Belsa when you're done. She's meeting with Silverclaw at his shop. Did you know he had a shop? I wonder what he sells. Quinn, what's wrong? It's nothing. I... It's nothing. But your father? How could it not be? It's 
it's so difficult to care about all this. If I studied harder at the Academy, I'd have graduated sooner. He would have traveled to see the ceremony. He wouldn't have been here when... You don't know that. I know. I know. But when I tell that to myself, it feels like a lie. Listen to me, go on. I won't delay you any further with my ramblings. It's alright, I'll see you later. That's good to hear. See you later, partner. Well, I can break into his room. Well, I can't do much. His only thing is, you know, I have more than enough gold to cover it. Easily. This makes me suspicious of every single person. Again, I prefer... I know they'll take me at my word, but... I prefer hard evidence, not that I actually have hard evidence in it. Now that I think about it. Of time with the guard. Now oh, here's something I might be able to use. If I don't keep on bouncing off the objects like a pinball. I don't know, I feel like that might work. It's just this momentum system or whatever. It bloody works. I have little time for talk. That didn't help me at all. Great. They don't see me, then I can't get in trouble. Guards in here? No. Hey, you mind if I cook here? Yes, you do. Hmm. All in all, this seems to have done nothing. Well, she's looking right there. Says ignore the giant feral bear. Did you hear something? <laughs> A diamond thimble. Why am I always in this place? I seem to be mostly safe here. What is it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this fucking guy. It's everywhere. 
Now, I'm not gonna stop till I get to the room. Oh, thank goodness, this. Shit. Oh, never mind. At least there's more than enough, like, hiding spots. Well, how the hell do I do this? I don't know. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode, though, so enjoy seeing you know what to do. See ya!